for you to click on this video today that shows your guardian angel made you to do so because he has been trying to bring you solution and answer to your prayers long time ago but maybe you are not sensitive enough then he tried to communicate with you through this video today i'm going to share with you how your guardian angel communicates with you even though sometimes you ignore it if you want to know how your guardian angel sent from god communicates with you to bring answer to your prayers and solution to some questions you have been asking god keep watching Hello everyone, my name is Afolake Janet Oyelami. As you have responsibilities and have job that you do as a woman being, likewise the angels also have job that they do on your behalf. Most angels are sent to deliver answers to our prayers. But when they get to you, you ignore it because you could not figure out the code they are sending to you. It all happened to most human beings. Because these angels are spiritual and we are physical human beings. But before I dip in into today's topic, let me give the keyword that summarizes today's topic. Today's keyword says, the enemy Satan has the power to blind your inner eyes against knowing the truth. That is why you are still struggling to be good. That is why you are yet to clearly recognize your purpose which come in form of dream. Dear friends, stop struggling. You need help from above. Find time to think and meditate with your creator. He will help you and he will show you what to do. Today's topic is all about how angels try to communicate with you, but you ignore. Maybe because they are spiritual beings and we are human beings. This topic I'm sharing today is a very big and wide topic, but I will only share few ways these angels try to communicate with you. Due to my experience and the experience of others who are guardian angels. A guardian angel is a type of angel that is assigned to protect and guide a particular person, group or nation. Belief in both the East and the West is that guardian angels serve to protect whichever person God assigned them to and present prayer to God on that person's behalf. How do these guardian angels, how do they communicate with you? It depends on your spiritual level. If you are still a baby in Christ, maybe you have just given your life to Christ, angels can try to communicate with you through physical thing around you. If you are grown up in Christ, angels can communicate with you through your gift. If you are still growing in Christ, if the angel comes to you trying to communicate with you through physical thing, you might ignore it. If you are grown up in Christ, angel can communicate with you, maybe through dreams, during your meditation time, during the time you are reading your Bible, through Holy Spirit in you. Before I tell you how these angels try to communicate with you, let me tell you why we human beings tend to ignore the angels when they try to communicate with us. The background belief you are used to it and you never want to give it up. Your environment is another reason why you ignore the angels as they are trying to communicate with you. 
the way of life, the way they behave in your environment, you are used to it. So when the angel is bringing a new code to tell you your next level, you will definitely ignore it. Abraham is an example of person who never allow environmental behavior to get into a subconscious mind. And you know what he did? When God went to him and told him, Abraham, leave your father's house. Immediately, he had never seen this person before. This God, he has never seen it before. He obeyed and left his father's house. So most of the time, we ignore the angel God sent to us just because of our environmental lifestyle. Another reason why you might ignore angels if they are sending a new code to you to communicate with you is because of what is in your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind believes that if you take a new step, you might fail. And for that reason, you ignore what the angel is trying to tell you. Now let me go straight to the point. How does angel communicate with human beings? Number one, God sometimes sends angels to bring answer to our prayers through dreams. If you have the gift of dream and your spiritual antenna is very high and active, God will send angels to give you answer to your prayers through dreams. That is if God gives you the gift of dream. And when you have the dream, if you don't have the interpretation, if you don't know the interpretation, try to pray for God to interpret the dream to you. Because God sent that angel to bring that dream to you. He wants you to take a particular step on that dream. So you will need the interpretation of that dream. And if you don't know it, ask God to interpret. God is a kind and merciful God. He listens to everyone. The second way of how the angel communicates with us is through colors. If you are still growing in Christ and your angel have tried many ways to communicate with you, but you are not getting the call, so the angel can try to communicate with you through colors. Maybe you have been asking God, for financial breakthrough and the angel has brought the answer to your prayer but he's trying to tell you the step to take he's trying to tell you what you are doing is right you're on the right track but you are not getting the code the angel can go to the extent of coming to communicate with you through colors if we look at the bible when the Israelites crossed the Red Sea and when God was leading them to the promised land, there was a pillar of cloud that was in front of them. And in the night, there was a pillar of fire that is leading them towards the promised land. This shows that God used sign to tell his children he's with them and he's trying to communicate. With them what do i mean by angels trying to use color to communicate with you for example maybe you went to the market and you buy some clothes you buy some chairs you buy some different stuff you are just picking them at random then when you took them home you continue with your daily lifestyle then after a few weeks you just notice that wait the clothes you bought is the same color with the chair you bought, is the same color with the kitchen utensils you bought. This is a sign that everything is coming together into shape. Due to financial breakthrough you have got to give you, when you see sign of the same color like this, your angel is trying to tell you, you are heading towards your success land. Everything is coming back together in shape. Most of the time, when you see green colors, that is a sign that 
you are heading towards your promised land. So when you see a particular color, especially green, it's telling you that you are heading towards your financial freedom. And your angel can go to the extent of bringing the video to you to show you the meaning of that color. And when you watch the video and you got the meaning of the color, then your spiritual eyes will be open. Oh, that shows that the answer to my prayer has been brought by the guardian angel. And we only share three main ways by which your angels try to communicate with you. And the last one is they try to communicate with you through numbers. If you look at God, he created the world from day one to day six, and on the seventh day, he rested. This is a sign to let you know that numbers are important to God because God is a well-organized creator. Let me tell you, God can send angels to you to tell you that your prayer over a particular area of your life has been answered through numbers because numbers has meaning. I believe in Bible interpretation of numbers, but I never focus my attention on it. Sometimes when you see a video comes to you and you click to watch it, your guardian angel is leading you to watch that video for a reason. And this particular day, the meaning of numbers came to me. I click it and I watched the video. That was when I realized that Oh, I've been seeing some certain numbers. I ignored it. But when I watched that video, that was when my spiritual eye antenna got open. And I began to thank God that, oh, this is what you are trying to tell me. I'm grateful. When you see number like this, 111, it means that your time of manifestation is now. When you see number 222, it means that can you just calm down you are stressing yourself too much when you see number 333 in the bible time it means god is with us and it also means you have a purpose in life that you need to start to use because many lives are waiting for you to impart them through that purpose and when you see 444 is telling you that you are on the right track. The job you have, the business you have, you are on the right track. 555 to us mean grace. It means time to change is now. Your angel is trying to give you ideas for moving forward. So don't ignore it. 666 means in the Bible time, the day woman being was created. Is also telling you ignore toxic people. 777 to us, according to the Bible, it means perfection. And it also means is telling you to trust in God when all hope is gone, that everything will be alright. 888 means new beginning, according to Bible terms. It also means Whatever you choose to do in life, God is backing you up. Keep going. When you see 999, it's telling you one phase of your life has just finished. The next level is now. Take step. When you see all these numbers, your angel is trying to tell you something. Sit down. Pray to God. Meditate. For God to lead you. Do not struggle about life anymore. God is there to help you. He's there to send you angels to help you too. Be active in the spiritual realm so that you will stop ignoring these angels trying to communicate with you. Hope this impacts you. Hope this video encourages you to move to the next level. Speak to you soon. God bless.